As one of the mega biodiversity countries, Indonesia possesses tropical forests with the richest biodiversity in the world, covering an area of 95.3 million hectares, which is just over half of the country's land. In Indonesia, the term forest is divided into two categories, forest and forest area. A forest is an ecosystem unit consisting of a land area that contains biological natural resources dominated by trees within its natural environment, which cannot be separated from one another. On the other hand, a forest area is a designated area determined by the government to be maintained as a permanent forest. In Indonesia, forest areas are divided into three main functions that play a crucial role in the conservation and management of natural resources. The first is conservation forests. These forests are specifically designed to protect biodiversity. Conservation forests also include water conservation to ensure the preservation of aquatic ecosystems. The second is protection forests. These forests serve as protection and buffers for ecosystems. The third is production forests. These forests are managed to provide long-term economic benefits without compromising environmental sustainability. To gather comprehensive data and information on forest resources and potential forest wealth, a National Forest Inventory, or NFI, is required. The NFI serves as the foundation for comprehensive forest management planning. The initial concept of the NFI was developed through a collaborative program between FAO, the World Bank, and the Forestry Department, Republic of Indonesia. From 1990 to 2022, over 4,000 plots have been measured throughout Indonesia by technical implementation units in the field. The NFI plays a crucial role in meeting the data and information needs for carbon storage and carbon absorption in forests. The redesign of NFI will not only cover official government-managed forests, but also in customary and community forests, resulting in more comprehensive data and information. The redesign activities of the NFI are conducted using a stratified aligned sampling method where the clusters are distributed in a hexagonal pattern across the whole country. The Directorate of Inventory and Monitoring of Forest Resources, the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, in collaboration with FAO, has redesigned the National Forest Inventory. There are differences between the old National Forest Inventory, conducted from 1990 to 2024, and the current method. The new sampling method in the redesigned NFI combines remote sensing data, the use of more advanced tree measurement tools, and smaller plot sizes, making the implementation of the NFI more effective and efficient in terms of time and cost. In terms of sample plot size, the previous method consisted of nine plot, each covering an area of one hectare. However, the new NFI method uses an L-shaped cluster plot design consisting of three circular plots. For measurements in dryland forests, swamps, and plantations, the distance between plots is 100 meters each. For trees outside forests and mangrove forest measurements, the distance between plots is 50 meters. But with different circular plot diameters, the redesigned NFI method offers several advantages compared to the old method, including faster and more accurate field variable recording using an Android-based apps on mobile electronic devices. This gives time and cost savings and more comprehensive measurement variable according to current needs and development. After the field crews have measured the trees in a plot, the next step is to upload the data to the central system. The uploaded data is then checked and cleansed of errors or inconsistencies. This process is crucial to ensure that the data to be processed is accurate and reliable. 
Once the data is cleansed, it is ready to be processed and analyzed. This stage involves applying various analytical methods to calculate the forest resource potential needed for subsequent policy and management decisions. The analyzed data from the NFI is utilized, among others, for calculating tree potential. Estimating above-ground biomass used in the National FREL or FRL, reporting the Global Forest Resource Assessment, compiling forest resource potential, and supporting the implementation of the MOEF plan called Foru Net Sync 2030. Sekarang lebih praktis, juga lebih bersifat menantang dalam artian begini. Kalau dulu pakai talisit kita kalau udah ada hujan, nah itu agak sedikit kebingungan. Dia agak agak basah. Jadi kita harus persiapan jas hujan bahkan itu pun belum tentu bisa dilaksanakan kalau menulis di bawah jas hujan itu kan susah juga. Kalau ini kan paling kalau kita sudah memang itu harus di di istilahnya kalau orang lapangan diterjang gitu mungkin dengan kolek mobil ini kita bisa masukin plastik bisa kita main langsung nah kalau talisit kadang-kadang kita ada yang tertinggal satu lembar dan lain sebagainya gitu kan e, rusak di jalan kena air apa gitu kan pas kita ngobrol-ngobrol kan enggak karena itu kan di, terus kita di roll gitu kan disimpan itu jadi ada jauh lebih praktis lah untuk yang sekarang